So tell us a little bit about how the Canalis project got started. I've always been fascinated by the way we communicate. My mom is Mexican and my dad's Bulgarian, so I grew up speaking different languages. As I learned English in school, it became my job to help translate for my parents. I guess I was always thinking about how we communicate and the importance of words. But I think that I was always most interested in the things we can't put into words, like emotion. When I was a kid, I spent a lot of time in airports flying back and forth to Mexico to visit my family. I loved watching the kind of authentic human connection that I would see there. Sometimes loneliness, sometimes joy, it was real. The hugs, the tears, the smiles. I think I was first drawn to singing because it seemed like the ultimate way to communicate with people, through both words and music. And it wasn't long before the world of music became my home. The reality is that to this day, I still never quite know how to answer the question, where are you from? I spent my life having to check the other box on every questionnaire. Music provided me with a world in which everything was equal, and it didn't matter what language or culture I was from. I started the Canales Project because I'm still searching for the same thing I was fascinated by as a kid, real human connection. The mission of the Canales Project is to give voice to issues of identity and culture through the arts and through conversation. I've spent a lot of my life feeling like the other, and now I've come to realize that I want to use my voice to help lead the journey from the other to the all. I believe that music has the power to transcend our differences and connect us all by reminding us of what we have in common. We all feel the same emotions. That's what being human is all about.